My, 26 female, boyfriend, 24 male, has been distant since my ex, 26 male, sent him our old adult tapes and a D pic. Background. I was with my ex since high school and we were together for 7 years from 16 to 23. He was this big alpha male jock who always had to prove he was the manliest. He was especially proud of his D which was a little over 8 inches long, he made me measure it. Great, right? Nope. His idea of good ass was jack hammering me for 10 minutes till he goes off. Never went down on me. Never finished me off. Not once. I had to do it myself. The worst part? IT hurt. He wouldn't use lube and I was rarely wet enough so girls out there can imagine what kind of pain I was in. When he was extra rough, which was most of the time, he would take pride and see the fact that I can't walk properly the next day as a sign of a job well done. But wait. There's more. We were also in an open relationship where it was only open on his end. Why did I agree to it? I was young and stupid. He'd have us with multiple women and take pictures to show me. As you can guess, it was a very very mistreating relationship. The icing on the cake was when I found out he sends our videos to his group chat for some sort of tribute thing I don't understand. I only found out when his two newer friends told me when they saw I was crying in one of the videos. They helped me get out and move a few states away. I still keep in contact with those two via email every now and then and I'll be eternally grateful to those two. The issue? After almost two years of therapy dealing with the aftermath of the abusive relationship, I was finally over my ex and decided to date again. I was working as a waitress one night and found a guy who was apparently stood up by his blind date. Don't know why, he was cute. He talked to me during my breaks and waited for my shift to end. We ended up having burgers after and we've been together ever since. My boyfriend is the opposite of my ex. Typical introvert like me. He's also significantly smaller than my ex, probably less than 6 inches, but is infinitely better. My boyfriend can actually make me climax and for the first time, I actually enjoy having s and it doesn't cause me pain and oral actually goes both ways. He's so, so much better than my ex and s. He knows about my exploitive ex by the way. We had a long discussion about it when we talked about each other's past and he actually cried for me. We've been together for over a year now and after my lease expired two months ago, I moved in with him. It's been great so far and the move has only made us closer. We've been so happy up until about a week ago when he started acting distant. We're usually very affectionate towards one another but every time I initiated something, physical or otherwise, he would turn me down. Every time I asked him what was wrong he would just say it wasn't me, it was him. He's been really sad lately so yesterday I decided to actually confront him and he spilled the beans. Apparently, my ex found out about him and got his Facebook profile. My ex, being the douchebag that he is, sent my boyfriend a couple of our videos and a picture of his junk and said I'm pretty sure what you have can't satisfy her like this one can. My boyfriend said he felt insecure and emasculated. Like he wasn't enough and how much better my ex was. How small he felt after seeing my ex. He said it didn't help that my ex was bigger and more muscular than he was. He said that it was his problem that he was insecure and he needed to figure it out on his own. I tried telling him how much better he was than my ex, which is definitely not a lie, but he wouldn't listen to me. He's sleeping on the couch right now. Now I don't know what I can do. I don't want to lose a good thing cause of my stupid ex. And yes, before you suggested I already plan on contacting a lawyer. That's not the main issue here. Why won't my boyfriend listen to me? Why won't he understand that I'm with him for a reason? Why doesn't he believe me when I say that he's better than my ex? Why doesn't he listen to me when I say size doesn't matter? What can I do to fix this? I miss cuddling with my lovable nerd. I can actually see us getting married in the future so I definitely want to fix this. Any advice please? Before we go to the update, let's read the top advice of this post first. Your ex sent his junk to your boyfriend? That's pretty gay. Damn, it that's exactly what I was thinking and what I would have answered. I would have loved to see the reaction of the big alpha male. No bro, it's called alpha now. That is just how we men have been raised by society, bigger is better. Sadly, there is nothing you can do about it. But you could approach him in a different way. Not by telling him that he is better but by asking him. Ask him if it is his wish to be like your ex, that so badly mistreated you. Ask him if he is interested in your feelings and getting off, because your ex wasn't. Ask him those questions and when you ask them all, just tell him one thing. Love is a decision you make every day. Since you met him, you never regretted the decision you made, know you know that he is the best decision you ever made. And contact the lawyer. 
not just because of what your ex did but also to show your BF how disgusted you are by your ex. Good luck and I expect to hear a happy update shortly. This is actually really really good advice, thank you very much. I'm actually going to try this tomorrow. Please update us on the lawyer and if they are capable of prosecuting your ex for that group chat, which has to be illegal. That douche needs to be stopped. He'll keep abusing to more people. Hopefully your two friends can help you gather evidence. That's a common form of abusive by your ex you left him and he found an opportunity to exert that control over you you should talk to your BF remind him of how abusive and horrible your ex was even if it may suck and ask him not to let him have that control over your life and more by loving you and living a happy healthy life. I second this, I feel like if I was in your SO shoes this would make me feel at least a little better. Now for the update. It's been a week since I posted and I've got some great advice from a few commenters both in the comment section and in private messages. Special shout out to user Kranik who gave me the best advice on how to approach the situation. After posting, I decided to just give him space. We weren't really talking but I continued to do what I normally do and take care of him. He goes to work still and I work from home part time so I made sure that he can just relax and not think about anything when he's back. I knew how sensitive guys were about this subject but I didn't know how much it could truly affect them till it happened to someone I love. Every day was difficult and I ended up crying alone in bed at night. I just wanted things to go back to normal. A few nights ago, I think he heard me crying so he came in the room and just held me. It was definitely a step in the right direction. We didn't end up talking but it was nice to not sleep alone. The next day he said he was ready to talk. I knew normal assurances wouldn't work so I went with the advice user Kranik gave me. I asked him if he was jealous of my ex. He just looked at me blankly. I didn't go into too much detail about the abuse before but this time I didn't hold back. I asked him if he wanted to be like the man who was so mistreating it took me two years of therapy to get my head straight. I asked him if we wanted to have a massive junk that caused me extreme amounts of pain every time and not once made me climax. I asked him if he wanted to be like the man who constantly cheated, belittled, and humiliated me in front of all his friends. I asked him if he thought so little of himself that he thought this man was much better than him. My BF then told me just how bad it actually was. I won't go into too much detail but he's had experiences where people actually made fun of his size. He apologized to me for being distant but I didn't think he needed to. I told him just how much I loved him and just how happy I was with our relationship. It was nice because he told me he definitely felt the same way. Things have been improving between us since and while we haven't had S yet, He's slowly going back to his usual loving self. As many of you suggested. I've been reminding him constantly just how much I love him and how much he means to me. We're not exactly back to normal but I'm confident we'll be okay. I know he loves me and I've made damn sure he knows I love him. As for the legal issue with my ex. To be honest, the last week, my relationship was my priority and this was more of an afterthought. Now that things are improving with my BF though. I've spoken to the two guys who helped me initially to gain even more evidence. I talked to my boyfriend's brother's wife, soon to be sister-in-law, who is a lawyer and I told her about it. She referred me to one of her lawyer friends who lived for cases like this and her friend said this case would be a slam dunk. Don't worry guys, we're gonna get this a hole. So yeah, overall things are getting better. My boyfriend is still asleep and I'm making him waffles before he takes me out to the beach later. I'm just so happy my ex didn't destroy the wonderful life I found after I left him. Thank you again to the few commenters who gave me solid advice. It really helped patch things up with my boyfriend. And for the top comments. This ex-boyfriend is a real piece of work and is still trying to control and hurt you. Use that lawyer for everything they're worth and neuter the f out of him. I think we need at least one final justice prawn update after the lawyer is done with the ringer. I am very happy about this update and that you two were able to really talk about it. You both are on a great path right now, stay on that. That he opened up to you about his past and let you in on his bad experiences that led to his insecurities, is a great sign of the trust he has in you. I wish you all the best. I am sure, that you two not just can make it, but get out of this stronger than you were before. Thank you. And thanks for your advice as well. It really got through to him. I guess he didn't feel so little once he realized just how much of a piece of crap my ex is and realized on his own just how much better he is. And yes, I'm confident we'll be stronger than before. It's still hard right now but we're both confident we'll make it. Now for a little update from the poster. I did not expect this to blow up. I'm sorry if I can't reply to everyone cause there's too many but the overwhelming support is incredible. I just want to address a few things. 
Abuse is real. It messes with your psyche. I stayed with my ex because I thought I couldn't do better and he was as good as it gets. My self-esteem was low at that point. I did everything I could to make him happy, which is why I agreed to be filmed. If you're going to make fun of me or treat me like crap because I stayed. I've been through hell already, so your words don't hurt. I would also like to say that the videos were disturbing but it didn't really affect me in a way that you would think. I cried because I thought I was losing my boyfriend, not because I remembered the past. Therapy helped me deal with the abuse and the year I spent with my boyfriend was the icing on the cake that I call healing. Also, I've been getting a lot of messages calling this fake because my username starts with throw ray. You do realize that the sub wants you to start with that when you post with a throwaway, right? The good vibes vastly outweigh the bad ones so overall, I'm happy I posted this here. I got a ton of support and good advice from good people. Second story. I 29 male was single for almost 8 months after breaking up with my GF, and yesterday I put a story on Instagram with the girl I date for 2 months and my ex GF went crazy over it. I don't even get it, I didn't answer her messages yet but she is already in a relationship and she told me that she didn't post pictures with him because she respects me and didn't want to make me feel bad or jealous, which I don't actually care is her choice and didn't ask for it. Also told me I did it on purpose to make her feel bad because she still have feelings for me. I have no idea what she comes like this after me, I decided to stay single for 8 months because I needed time to heal and get mentally and emotionally better after the breakup, and now as I said I have 2 months dating this girl and she is amazing and I hope things get more serious in future with her. I didn't want to hide the fact that my ex sent me messages and showed her and just told me to ignore her. But still, I'm confused on what her reasons are and why she acted like this. Now for the top comments. Block her. Out of curiosity. Who wanted to break up? Also she sounds very immature, she has no saying which you post or doesn't have any strings attached to you. I block her immature butt. Mostly me, even that I regretted it immediately after because I honestly loved her, I just couldn't handle some stuff that relationship wasn't the ideal for me. I see. Maybe she expected you to come crawling back. But seriously live your life and post as you see fit and if she continues yapping, block her. Imagine how your new GF would feel about you still caring about your ex's crappy behavior on social media. Either get over her or break up with your new GF because you're not treating her right by letting your ex's bad behavior impact your life this much. I've read all comments and me and my GF blocked her to avoid future unwanted conflicts. I can understand if you put story or photo after 8 days or something, but 8 months is a bit of a stretch by your ex. Hope everything goes well in your new relationship. She got in a relationship 2 months after we break up, while I was trying my best to get better and get over her. And now I'm finally happy and ready for a relationship and I think I have all the right to share moments with my actual girl. And thank you. A little update from OP. Thank you everyone for your comments, sorry for not replying to everyone. Both me and my GF blocked her on all platforms to avoid any future conflicts, and if she insists I'll make a step forward and send screenshots to my ex's BF. Now for the last story. My ex-girlfriend kicked me out of our apartment and still expects rent money. We broke September 12th, I left that same day out of respect and love I have for her. 5 days later I asked if we could talk and she said no essentially. 20 minutes later her sister texted me asking if I could still pay my portion of rent, $540, until they save up money I agreed at first because I am broken hearted and willing to do anything to get her back in my life. But after thinking about it I realized that maybe I shouldn't because it was my ex's decision to kick me out and have me leave and if it was up to me I'd still be there with her. My name is on the lease still and I'm thinking of getting it off the lease and not pay. I wanna know if I'm an a-hole if I do so or if I'm in the right. Now for the top advice. If she kicked you out then she can't expect rent from you. Tell her that either you are moving back in or she's on her own for the rent. Just be aware that legally you still owe the rent. That's why I wanted to my name off the lease, this has been heavy on my mind, I don't want to do her dirty but ultimately this was her decision, I just feel like she's using me and wanting to have her cake and eat it too. Who kicked you out? Your title says that she kicked you out, you make a comment that you left out of respect and love. If you made the decision to leave, then you need to pay her the rent. If she made the decision that you would leave and kicked you out, she should pay your share of the rent. With your name still on the lease, you are still one of the people legally liable to pay the rent and can't be kicked out. She kicked me out, she asked me to leave, 
I left because I respected her and love her. If I had it my way I'd still be there. Until your name is off the lease, A, you can't be kicked out and, B, you are responsible for rent. So take my name off the lease, am I an a-hole or is it her fault for kicking me out? Well if your name is on the apartment and you moved out, you are an idiot. Now she can just not pay your portion and claim you are not paying, and collections will come after you. You need to immediately call the leasing office and get your name off that lease. What? No, you have to pay the landlord slash apartment complex and everyone on the lease is responsible for 100% of the rent. So if rent is $900 and both op and XGF are on the lease, the landlord slash apartment manager still expects $900. One person cannot pay $450 and say, go after one who didn't pay for the other half. They go after every person on the lease and if it remains unpaid, everyone is listed in the eviction, it messes everyone's credit. And if it goes to collections, it goes in everyone's name from the lease. You can't just take someone's name off the lease. She needs to qualify for the apartment on her own and agree to it as well. You need to contact the landlord yesterday. And that's the all to get updated on the new videos. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a nice day.